All right, guys, trust some Gundam 13 here. I have returned after my two month re hiatus to bring you the Mega Man Legacy Collection. And holy crap, this music is loud. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, wow, this is a remix from uh, Mega Man 3, the title screen music there. Oh, that's pretty sweet. But, uh, wow, the music's loud. I wonder how, how high my voice is. I wonder if you guys can hear my voice really well or not. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> let me just. Here. Uh, is there any options here? Oh no! Oh wow! It's only button configuration. Oh wow! There's no music options though. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, whether you can hear me or not, I'm back from my two-month hiatus to bring you the Mega Man Legacy Collection, and I'm gonna be honest, guys. Mega Man is probably one. If not, my favorite video game franchise of all time. Like, I am a huge, huge Mega Man fan, alright? I'm a very big Mega Man fan. I've loved it since I was a kid. And I did my first experience to the 8-bit Mega Mans, actually, was from the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on the GameCube. I played that a lot when I was younger, and that was my first exposure to the 8-bit Mega Mans. The other Mega Mans I mainly played when I was younger was like the, uh, the Mega Man Battle Network games and, uh, the Zero games. I really, I played the Zero games and the Battle Network games a lot when I was younger. But I got exposed to the 8-bit ones from the Anniversary Collection, and from then I loved them. Like, I loved the classic 8-bit Mega Mans. And so, kind of funny, how <laughs> uh, now I'm playing the Legacy Collection for the first time, and I figured it came out on PS4 a couple of, about a week ago, I think it was the 25th? So yeah, now I decided to play this for my YouTube and stuff like that, to sh show off, you know, my love for Mega Man in a way, and start playing this. And obviously, let's see here, actually. Oh, sweet. Oh, shit. Oh wow, this is cool, look. This is kind of cool. So we've got uh, Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And it's based off th these uh, little things that are based off the uh, the box art, the NES box arts. That's cool. And then I don't know what music, what? What, what theme is this? Is this, this isn't Mega Man 2, is it? No, no, no. Oh, I think this is Mega Man 3. Yeah, yeah, this is Mega Man 3. Wow, there's a lot of Mega Man 3 music so far. That's cool. And the music's a little bit lower, too. I don't know if it's going to be like that for the rest of the game, but I digress anyway. So I decided I'm going to play this for YouTube and just, you know, play it. Apparently, it's supposed to be exactly like the original NES games, and I, I read about it, and it even has the slowdown. It has... Um, it doesn't have the... Ability to switch weapons with the, I guess the triggers. Yeah, you can't switch weapons on the fly with the triggers, unlike in the anniversary collection. Which I don't know. They they try to keep it exactly like the NES games. I don't know if I'm really happy about that or if I'm really kind of eh about that because you know you should make it a bit more. You should give people the option to. That's what I really liked about the anniversary is that you could either have it in the new style where they gave you hints and they had you. You know, it had, like, different life bars for all the enemies and all that shit. Or you could set it for where it looked exactly like the classics, you know. The classic NES games. And also, the Anniversary Collection, it had, uh, 7, 8, Mega Man 7, 8, and then it had the power, it had the arcade Mega Man games. So, this one definitely had, doesn't have as much. I mean, it only has 1 through 6. And even then, comparing, like... When the Mega Man Anniversary Collection got released, only Mega Man's 1 through 8 were released, pretty much, of the classic series. Excluding, you know, Mega Man Base, because that was a Game Boy game, and an SNES game in Japan. But, uh... Yeah, this collection, it only has 1 through 6, and... For, like... Today, now there's Mega Man's 9 and 10, so it's like, wow, you're missing 4 games. Like, it could have been really easy to put in uh, Mega Man 7 and 8 in here, you know what I mean? Or at least to me, I think it would have been pretty easy, because I don't think it would have been that hard, to be honest. And then 9 and 10, oh, 9 and 10 would have been a breeze to put in here, because it's 8-bit, you know what I mean? 
so yeah, I, I, I'm playing this because I want to show off that, you know, I'm a huge fan of Mega Man. I obviously I, I had to buy it. It was only 15 bucks too. So I figured I'm like, you know what? It's only 15 bucks. I'll buy it. I haven't put much stuff up on my YouTube lately because again, the summer happened, you know, during that two month hiatus of mine. And so I was like, you know what? I want to lay back, not put up too many videos, you know, take a break in a way, even though I love putting up YouTube videos. I really do. And, you know, spend time with family, go out with friends, stuff like that. So, yeah, now I'm back for to play through the Mega Man Legacy Collection. There's supposed to be a challenge mode in this, too. But for now, I'm just going to play through all of the regular games. I don't know how the heck I'm going to name it, name these videos. I think I'm just going to name it straight Mega Man Legacy Collection Playthrough. Or, no, just Mega Man Legacy Playthrough. And just say Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, you know. Stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure I can clear all these games. I probably can beat them all in a day, but I'll probably just do one game a day or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, all right, let's get started. Let's go for Mega Man 1, the first Mega Man. And then also, I guess I can tell you my impressions on what I think of the game. You know, <laughs> which one's my favorite Mega Man. Obviously, you probably might be able to guess which ones are my favorite Mega Man classic games. No hints given right there. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, let's go. Let's start off with Mega Man 1. Ooh, what's this? Database, museum, options, and controls. Let's see what options and controls. Original. Full. Border. Let's have the. Yeah, let's have border on. Filter off. Filter. No, 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 it's not having any of the filters. Some of the filters make it look really old, and I don't want it to look that old. I want it to look, you know, HD 8-bit goodness. Oh, yeah. Because you can really tell the difference between HD 8-bit and then regular 8-bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Real full right. Um, let's do full. All right, we're good. Oh, saving data. All right, let's play. Let's get started. Oh, shit. Oh wow, I already started. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little like 8-bit border. It's got Mega Man on the left. Dr. Light and Roll on the right. All right, cool. Oh man. Oh wow. All right, so we got the classic six, first six. It's not eight, because in Mega Man 1, it wasn't eight yet. In Mega Man 2, it turned into eight Robot Masters, but here's the six. Robot Masters for Mega Man 1, the original ones here. So we got Cup Man, Guts Man, Ice Man, Bomb Man, Fire, Fire Man, and Elect Man. Now for me, I always went for Guts Man first. And I guess to put this emulation to the test, let's see if I can clear those, uh, what was it, what was it, those platforms or whatever that everyone like always says is the hardest thing, but to be honest, I don't think they're that tough, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. All right, here we go. Mega Man. I haven't played a Mega Man game in a while, actually. I think it's been actually a month since I played one, since I went through, you know. Usually I get through a Mega Man game in like 30 minutes or so. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. I forgot. Oh, my God. I forgot that Mega Man 1, it has that slidingness to it, you know, that... Mega Man 2 through 6, they don't have that. Like, you know how Mega Man, if you move just a little bit, he kind of slides like that a little bit? Oh, God, I forgot. And then Mega Man 1, you can also fall really quick. Oh, God. But yeah, let's put this emulation, this superb emulation to the test with these platforms. Oh, God. Oh, shit. All right. Clearing through them. Ooh. Did it! Oh my god, I only died once. Kind of embarrassed I died once. Sometimes I get through these games without dying at all, but... I don't know, I, I don't think I should be bragging or anything because... Oh god, I just died like in... As soon as I started the game, I died, but... Those assholes. Ah, fuck. These guys can be instant killed by the uh, firestorm, by the way, sometimes. I like to, in a Mega Man game, I like to experiment on the the enemies with the different weapons, you know? So I've kind of figured out what enemies are weak to what. 
So I, I realized that Firestorm and the, uh, the bomb weapon from Bomb Man are really good. And for those of you that don't know what you get Firestorm from, although I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you get the Firestorm from, uh, from, uh, Fireman. <laughs> He's the only fire guy here, so... Oh man. That's the thing about Mega Man 1, it's so weird. You fall so quickly, and even if you're holding to the left, like, you won't go to the left. I don't know. It's just weird. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I dodged that thing. Holy shit. Can I kill it? Probably not. Oh, sweet, I did. I got health, too. Sweet. And we're already done for Gutsman stage. Yeah, Gutsman stage is really short. <laughs> the only thing that's hard about it is that platform segment that I was just on. But really, if you're used to it, it's a breeze. And I think the only reason why I died right there was because, you know, the slidiness. I completely forgot about Mega Man 1's slidingness whenever Mega Man walks. But, uh, yeah. And Gutsman isn't that hard. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that. But, yeah, I don't think Gutsman's that hard of a boss, either. All he does is, you know... Oh god, unless he gets up here, oh. And he, it's easy to tell when he's about to throw a boulder. Like, see right there? If he's just, uh, jumping, like, back and forth like this, then he's not gonna throw a boulder. But if he jumps just in a... like that. If he jumps, like, regularly, not moving at all, then he's just... Uh, he's about to throw a boulder. But anyway, yeah, I just beat him. <laughs> I just beat him. And in Mega Man 1, it was weird that they had these things that you had to pick up or whatever. In order to, you know, get the weapon and beat the boss. And sometimes that leads to problems. I don't know if we'll find that problem <laughs> while I'm playing it. But sometimes, like, a boss will still be throwing his weapon or whatever. Like, especially if a Lek Man. Like, if you kill a Lek Man and then he fired off his, uh, Thunder Beam or whatever. And he hits you. He'll Sometimes he'll instant kill you. And then you have to fight him again. Even though you beat him. <laughs> it's that same thing can happen with Iceman, too, if I re rem remember. All right, yeah, we beat Gutsman. He really wasn't that hard. Again, he, he Gutsman's really easy. It's just that he... It's like, if he just jumps without moving left or right, then he's about to throw a boulder. But if he jumps and moves left or right, then he's not going to do anything. So just, like, stay there and just keep shooting. Of course, he shakes everything, but... I mean, as long as you get the timing right, he's not that bad. So, all right, so we beat Gutsman. So next up... We're going to head to Cutman, because that's the order I usually go for in Mega Man 1. <laughs> 